death and sickness have conceded defeat. Thunder and lightning are silenced at his command and all creation knows his name. The question I've been sent to ask you is this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Not are you going to church or, or do you call yourself a Christian? I mean, are you ready for what the glorious revealing of Christ will mean for you? Listen, I understand we've been programmed to talk about the, the apocalypse or the, the revelation of Christ as some distant thing that's far off and irrelevant to our lives right now. But I want to help you think differently today. Yes, friend, he is coming again. Yes, the scope of his return will be global, universal even. Every eye will see the return of the king. But I believe that, that right now, even before that glorious day, that the father longs to show his son to the world through you. People shouldn't have to wait until judgment day to see him. Now listen, our function on earth is to be the living manifestation, the tangible, visible presence of Christ in the earth. But we don't just get that by repeating a prayer after some guy on TV or by showing up in church on Sunday mornings. No, you get that by taking up the charge to prepare the way that the King might be seen in you. You do in your life what a man called John the Baptist did to the pre-Christ Jewish culture as a forerunner, someone that prepares the way for the coming king. Scripture says that John the Baptist was a man sent from God to testify regarding the glory of the soon coming king. That, that, that through him, all might believe. He was a forerunner for Christ. His singular purpose on earth was to prepare the way for the ministry of Yeshua, Jesus. Listen, John, the, the son of a priest who had every right and opportunity to live a lavish lifestyle, he chose to take up residence in the wilderness outside of Jerusalem, to wear clothes made of camel's hair, to eat locusts and honey. He separated himself from the vain pursuits of his shallow culture. John the Baptist committed himself to a life of extreme and radical consecration because that is the only thing that could prepare a people for the unleashing of the real power of God that was, was made available in Yeshua the Christ. You want to get to power? You want to get to signs, wonders, and miracles? You want to get to a place that which you can be used as the hands and feet of Christ in the earth? You can start by removing yourself from the worthless pursuits of this godless culture. The same principle that was true in John's time is still true today. I want you to see it. The only thing, the only thing that can prepare a people for the ministry of extreme power is a ministry of extreme consecration. John the Baptist knew this. Yeshua the Christ knew this. And that's the way that Almighty Yahweh intended it. In the same way that John prepared the Jewish people for the appearance of Christ, it'll be men and women of radical devotion and radical consecration that prepare our culture for the next appearance of Christ. As he is displayed and manifested in unspeakable glory in us and through us, it'll be the people that have been consecrated unto him who are ready to receive him.